Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne. We are jumping in again and today, who am I looking at going as? Maybe I'll do Atom. I do quite like a bit of Atom. Um, we still haven't got the double golden weapons as him. I'm going to go with a glove to start with and jump in and see if we can get ourselves something easy going. What is this? Crown of a Thousand Cuts. Increase melee deflect duration. Melee can destroy squares. It will now cost melee ammo to deflect projectiles. That sounds intriguing to me. Why not give that a go? Why not try that out? But yeah, we can teleport us this guy. We want to be getting, um, what's it called? The, the one where we can deal more damage on touching things, as we are doing right now. Um, but we really want to be getting extra feet if we're doing a run with the glove. Because as we've seen before, glove is insane when it comes to... Um... Oh, dude, there's an enemy there. I even see that guy. So it's, it keeps saying not enough ammo, but I clearly have enough ammo. So I'm guessing it means not enough ammo for the projectile deflect, but I'm not sure what ammo it uses. Oh, wait, there's, a, there's an actual new thing look for melee ammo. Okay. That's good to know, at least. I should probably take another weapon, at least, so I can get through this stage a little easier. The stage is kind of hectic, and last time we kind of proved that it's not super effective just going guns blazing. But we're doing okay. It's not terrible. My bullet popper will be our boss killer. Because I do not think the fist will be the most effective of methods for killing this boss, I'll be honest. Yeah, don't, don't dive into me. I'm a little weird on the keyboard and mouse at the minute because I've just been playing Call of Duty on a controller. I, I normally play on PC, but I switched over to controller because it's just a hell of a lot easier on that game. Triple pop gun, yes please. Um, and now I feel weird. Right, um, let's have a little look at what we've got going on here. Triple pop gun with shotgun shoulders. Kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I'll take it. Um, scarier face, thank you. We have three level ups. Oh my goodness. Um, and we'll take plutonium hunger as well. That seems pretty, pretty good. Yeah, this seems real, real good. I see you, boss man. Yeah, that was nice and easy. Good, good, good. Right, straight on through. But yeah, I'll try and get the, uh, the, old, the old fist set up going if I can, but at the minute... I think the uh, the old shotgun shoulders pop gun is working a treat for us. You gotta love it when it works. You gotta love it when a plan comes together, even if that plan was very impromptu. I don't know what the difference is between the regular glove and the dead glove. Reverse recoil. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm going to stick with a golden one now because I... Ah, do you know what? No, no, no. It's weird. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try it out. It might end up being better. I don't know. We need more ways of getting ammo right now. That'd be uh, ideal. I can't believe we've got so many level ups in one stage there. That's why I like going that way now with the uh, guaranteed mutation choice and stuff. Yeah, I've taken this crown, but I'm very much leaning into this whole bullet popper situation we've got going on right now. Right. Through here. So we do get to choose our level up now. So we could go for more ammo or we could go for eagle eyes. I think I'm going to go for eagle eyes. Um, I think that's potentially better. I, obviously I realised I could have gone for extra feet there, but honestly now, I'm just more intrigued by, by this scenario with this weapon. Even though the ammo situation with it is... Uh, not great. We've got plutonium hunger though, which helps a lot. Cool. I'll take that. Sorry, glove. Maybe in another life. Maybe in another life. I think I'm going to go with the, the frost shotgun, to be honest. If I can pick it up. Oh, it's cursed weapon. I was like, why can't I pick it up? I'm holding a cursed weapon. That's how cursed weapons work, you doof. Chill out with the summonings, please. 
Thank you. What the hell? Chop splinter gun. Oh my goodness. That seems intriguing. Mighty intriguing. Um, I don't really know what I'd want here, to be honest, out of these. I guess I could go Rhino Skin. Rhino Skin's obviously a safe bet. Yeah, the damage this thing does is pretty pretty hefty. I like it. Like I said, I just need ways of like recycle gland or something to give me some more ammo, because right now, or even just Rabbit's Paw would be useful. Because right now we pretty much run out literally every time we fire it, which isn't ideal. I got this thing though, this thing's pretty good. It's a bit dangerous, but it's pretty goddamn good. I like it. The poison isn't that bad. Good, good, good. Yeah, we're, we're kind of we're kind of jumping on through here. Um see I could go bolt marrow and lean into this weapon a little bit more as well. Do you know what? Why not? Why not? We're leaning into both our weapons. This thing is a lot safer with Bolt Marrow, because it'll actually take the uh, the bolt a decent distance and do some good stuff. We did get our sheepy friend here. I will take you. Little sheepy, I will take you. Okay, a little less safe in this area when there's all these little bits that I can accidentally hit and sheep and stuff. Because if I hit one of these, it can detonate my, um, my arrow early, which we do not want. Yeah, the range of people able to keep away from enemies is, is really, really nice right now. Get those teapot bastards away from me. Um, I like I does much benefit to go into this area, but I like it. Uh, when Toxic hits a wall, ooh, we could go with that. That would be pretty That would be pretty nice. I know we just saw Rabbit's Paw and I was just talking about that, but this makes this way less dangerous and potentially more powerful, which obviously I like the idea of. Got hit pretty hard by one of those guys. We got ourselves a... Fr Frost Flare Gun, from my recollection, isn't a morph gun, so I'm not quite sure why that's in that pool. Little confused by that. That's a bit weird. Ow, that was a bad hit. I should just be able to spam the hell out of this guy and get him down. So how, how am I meant to get melee ammo? Because I'm, I'm noticing I've still have, I still haven't managed to pick up any melee ammo. Maybe if I only have melee, um, if I only have melee, it will give me melee ammo when I open chests. I'm not entirely sure. It's all conjecture and guessing at this point. Hyper Assault Shotgun. Considering we have shotgun shoulders, I think I'll be taking that, thank you. Ooh, we get the cheese area. Does seem a little ammo hungry, obviously. I've never understood the idea of the bouncer bazooka. Is it literally just meant to be a meme weapon that is never actually supposed to be used? Very much seems that way. Right, did we clear everything? Pretty much. Okay, we've got some weapons here. Um, Electro Cannon Super Infuser. Super Infuser sounds good to me. And we've got a Kraken Yo-Yo as well. Oh, now that could be good. I'm gonna... Oh wait, that's explosive? I always thought your your weapons were were, were were bolt weapons. I'm gonna go with the super infuser instead then, because I want I want bolt marrow to at least be doing something for us. This is a good weapon. This this super shotgun thing is uh it's pretty gnarly. Uh right. So we've got recycle gland there, but that's not gonna help us with ammo anymore, is it? Um We do have heavy heart. This is the first time I've ever naturally found heavy heart. Um Dropping weapon, uh, dropped weapons fire, um, at enemies, additional weapons in chests. Uh, let's give it a go. This does a lot of damage. Seems, again, pretty ammo hungry, but... It seems to be doing some mighty good stuff. 
It's all out of ammo. Luckily, we have other stuff that's very good. Oh, God! There was a nuke just driving around there from that nuke launcher. Ah, uh, let's do this. It's been a while since we've done this area. I should probably do it. We lost Heavy Heart. That's fine. Shotgun Shoulders is kind of annoying, but not the end of the world. Okay, no, none of those are that bad. Because there's no walls in this stage, Shotgun Shoulders isn't really that good. My main worry right now is I have two very ammo-hungry weapons. And I feel like I'm definitely going to end up running out of ammo. Dude, this thing does so much damage. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be really screwed for ammo here, I think. Got to remember I can teleport as well. Teleporting to get away from the shots in this area is actually not a bad idea at all. Also, dude, is there new music in here? This sounds amazing. I don't remember this music. I've not been here in a little while, to be honest. Flame Bazooka. Baby, that sounds quite nice. Come on, game. Give me more ammo, please. Oh, dude, really? Can I just, like, teleport on you and kill you? No. Oh, I can. I can. Good. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to waste ammo on you. Uh, I still got this guy walking around with me, but he's not that useful. Ooh, we got our ultra. I didn't even think about that. Bigger explosions. Explosions deal more damage against the enemies. Explosive weapons cost 20% less ammo. That sounds pretty gnarly. Um, you deal more contact damage. Deal damage to enemies near you. That's pretty good, too. Um... All weapons use energy ammo. Energy weapons cost 20% less. Ammo drops prioritize energy. Lightning deals more damage and travels further. Ooh. Teleport into walls. Um, new and faded pickups transform into ultra lightning and rads. Oh, damn. Um, everywhere you go, you leave behind a trail of damage and goop. Pickups fade faster. Um, faded pickups reroll into other pickups. Pickups can fade and reroll twice. This is a tricky one. Got some really good stuff here. Teleport into walls. New and faded pickups transform into ultra lightning and rads. Does... I'm going to try that out. I don't exactly know how that works. Okay, so far it doesn't seem to do anything from what I can see. I'm not quite sure how that works. Oh no, there you go, there you go. It says new and faded. But so far, it seems to just be happening with the faded ones. It seems you get a good amount of ammo from killing stuff in this area, which is nice. These smaller enemies here, I'm just going to touch. It's easier. I'm a little worried for the boss. Ammo for the boss is going to be... A little bit touch and go, I think. Keeps giving me health. Not really doing that much for me. Dude, touching that guy poisons me too. That's a, that's a, a sad realization. There's not a good amount of health to be fighting the boss on. I will say that now. I'm probably going to die with the amount of ammo I have. And health I have. It's unfortunate, because this is a good run. But it is what it is, I guess. Yeah, we're already out of ammo. Oh, well, that guy's dead already. That's good. Ah, dude. Okay, we, we did it. We did it. That was surprising that I managed to make it through that, but that was, that was fun. Um, Atom, press F to create a persistent portal that teleports resources, chests, and enemies. That sounds very intriguing. So press F to create a persistent portal. Whoa! Whoa, that's so fucking cool, man. So I can put a portal on this guy here. Wait, wait, wait. Put a portal there. And it teleports the enemies through it. And I can fire projectiles and it teleports the projectiles. That is honestly... A really fucking cool idea. I like this a lot. So I can I can go like oop fire through that and it'll fire through there. That's so
so fucking cool. Dude, our ammo situation is so bad right now. <laughs> we need a different weapon uh, from one of these two. Energy Lance sounds pretty good. Um, I guess I'll take that over this. Dude, look at that. When we fight through the portal. Oh my god, that's so cool. I love that. So we're finally using Mila, which is something. Um, I guess I'll take Kraken on this. I'm going to gamble and go Courtyard. I don't have the best weaponry for it, but why not? Good. Super infused is mad, man. Dude. How has our ammo situation been so bad this entire time? Oh, I'm so dead. I need so much more ammo than the game is giving me. I have picked terrible weaponry to pair with one another once again. Energy sword. Okay, there's there's some there's some good stuff in there. Energy sword, same sort of thing. Smart gun, I think we're going to have to take the smart gun, you know. It's not my favourite in the world, but... That portal thing. I don't know how best to utilise it, to be honest, but it's so fucking cool. The crown glutton is here, and I am not even remotely ready for it. I was really hoping to take care of most of the enemies before he spawned in, but I think he just spawns at a threshold of enemies left. Plasma laser rifle. Yeah, I'll take that, I guess. Oh, dude, I'm just, I'm just gonna take both of these. Why not? Scyther. This thing seems amazing. Wow, that seemed good. Very low on ammo, but very good. This frost thing's gonna be really good for clearing out all of these guys. How am I alive? Dude, stop with that bullshit attack. I don't like it. Where's he gone? I'm confused. Ah, 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 I'm confusing myself. And the portals are making this so much more confusing. I shouldn't have placed the portals down. Where are you, dude? Portals, go away. Dude, the portals. No. <laughs> that made things so much more confusing. Why did I place those down? That was a lot of fun, but goddamn did that make things hella confusing. I'm going to take that crown again and try and actually go for the, uh, the old glove build this time. See, my, my problem was I should have also been teleporting around like a madman. That's where, that's where my mistake went. Before it came. Right. Almost dead already. Par for the course. Yeah, good stuff. That's exactly what I meant to do. Okay, maybe not that crown this time, because that crown just seems bad. <laughs> I won't say bad, I just, I'm not getting much use out of it. Whenever you try to use your active, take one damage and gain some ammo. How much ammo? Okay, that's a lot of ammo. Considering I'm a person that very rarely uses my actives, this might be something that I wanna I wanna take more often. Being able to get ammo at will is really really nice. Um, no extra feet, but that's pretty good. Good, good, good. 
probably take the charge bow as well, to be honest, as a bit of safety rather than using that melee that constantly gets me killed. I will take the spinner yo yo gun instead. Ex mm, I definitely touched the skull there, game, so I don't know why you. Thanks, game. That's exactly what I wanted to do. I definitely didn't touch that skull on purpose because I wanted to go that way. I don't really know how that happened. I guess I pressed it just as the portal spawned, but we spawned on top of it. Maybe, just maybe, it would be a decent idea to have some protection to make sure the portal can't spawn over the top of interactable objects. That would be a, a decent idea, I reckon. Right, gamble. Go straight in. I'm doing it again. This isn't doing anywhere near as much damage as I would have hoped. This thing's pretty good, though. Hello, Mr. Divey around the enemy. Let's get some splinter on that bad boy. Okay. Was that it? That was a very short spare stage of that. I, I'm guessing it depends on how late into the run you do it. Here it is, baby. Here it is. Oh, man. This thing is so good. Kind of weak, though, on these enemies. But then again, these are, like, higher tier enemies that I'm fighting right now that I probably shouldn't be fighting right now. Put Morph on it, why not? Just keep him at bay. Keep destroying everything he summons. Grab the ammo when we can. He hit me then. Cheeky bastard. I'm just waiting for the disco to start. I'm, I'm getting prepared. Right, this is really good because it just shoots through walls and stuff, so we can kind of just set a bunch of these off to essentially clear out the crowds a little bit, and then we can get in there and start doing stuff for ourselves. It's fun to do this area early. It's quite, a ch quite the challenge, but it's a good one. Right, here he is. Right, get a few of those going. Now, obviously, you do spawn a lot of cubes, so here it is. There's a bunch of other enemies getting involved. I don't like that. If you, if you, you guys could not get involved in this very serious boss fight that I'm currently trying. How much health do you have, Mr. Explodey? We did it! We did it, baby. We did it. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Right, can we leave this hellscape now? Thank you. Okay. So, we, we still want to go with whichever that one was. Wait, where has it gone? The crown that I had already seems to have disappeared. What is this? When your primary ammo is above 50%, increase max health by 3, if not reduce it by 3. That's interesting. Where's my, where's my goddamn crown gone? So, <sighs> this is something that I still, I, I would like the developer to explain to me if they're watching. I really don't understand what the hell's going on with the crowns. There seems to be a bunch of extra crowns that I've never seen, or that I see sometimes but don't see other times. And I understand there is some that are secret, but... Is it, could it, could it not be like the Ultra Mutations where once you've picked it up once, you then unlock it permanently? And then it just builds onto this row here, or another row. I know, I know it'd look a bit funny, but like, I just, I don't get why there's so many crowns that just show up on occasion. There's some really cool ones, like the one that I just had, that I don't know how I got it. It didn't give me any indication of how I unlocked it or what triggered it, so I don't know how to repeat it. 
and it's not there now, and I'd like to use it. B but if I want to keep using it, I just have to keep current crown layout, I guess. Which obviously isn't ideal. I don't know, it's just it, the way that it works, it, to me at least, is a bit funky. It's a bit funky, I'd say. Inverted Big Vulture, hello. Inverted Big Vulture is uh, an absolute tyrant, by the way. I have instantly died. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was all fun. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.